In the year of our Lord, 1666, a year wrapped in the tapestry of fate, wherein the hearts of the chosen people did flourish, and the very essence of humanity was writ anew. In that fateful year, amidst the trials and tribulations, the Jewish folk, resilient and steadfast, did rise like the phoenix from the ashes of despair, for in the crucible of suffering, their spirits shone bright, a testament to endurance, a beacon of hope. Oh, how the world, in its tumultuous dance, did see the glimmer of morality reborn. For in those days, when shadows loomed large, compassion and justice took center stage, and the hearts of men and women did turn to embrace the virtues of love and unity. T'was a time when the scales of justice did not tip to the weight of gold or disdain, but rather, to the melody of kindness and understanding. In the marketplace of souls, every spirit was valued, and the bonds of brotherhood did flourish, as we learn to see the divine in every visage. Let us, dear friends, take heed of this lesson, to draw forth from the well of time's deep waters and invert our morals, as they did in that noble year. For the spirit of 1666 teaches us that to rise above the pettiness of strife is to embrace the grandeur of our shared humanity. Let us cast aside the chains of prejudice and weave a tapestry rich in diversity, wherein every thread, be it bright or dim, is cherished and celebrated as part of the whole. For in this grand design, we find our strength and in our unity, the very essence of life. So, as we stand upon this hallowed ground, let us pledge to carry forth the torch of virtue, to invert our morals, as the wise did before, to nurture the seeds of empathy and grace, and in this noble pursuit, may we find our way. Thus, I implore each heart and mind to remember the lessons of 1666 and let the spirit of that golden age guide us forth into a future bright where love reigns supreme and peace is our crown. In unity, let us flourish. In compassion, let us thrive. For together, we are the architects of tomorrow and in our hands lies the power to revive. So rise, dear friends, and let us embrace this call to invert our morals and uplift one and all.